What's going on everyone, it's your average consumer, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Logitech UE9000s. So, let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. Alright guys, here we have the Logitech UE9000s. Now, these are some special headphones to me because I'm a Bluetooth headphone lover, I love wireless headphones, and the UE9000s did not disappoint. And the first thing we're gonna do here is take a look at the case that it comes with. Taking a look at the case, you'll see that it has a hard shell design. It's all black with a blue zipper lining and it's pretty durable. I don't think you'll have any worries tossing your headphones around inside of this case. It offers some pretty good protection. Inside of the case actually has two little flaps that you can store your headphone cables as well as your USB charger. Since this is a Bluetooth device, you will wanna charge it. So you're able to carry both those cables with you with no issues. They don't take up too much space. It's not make doesn't make the case any more bulky. Really good stuff. And the headphones just sit very nicely on the inside of the case. And you don't have to worry about it moving around or anything like that. They're very safe and secure inside this case. And what's really nice about this case is that it is pretty flat. So you're able to carry this around with you if you want to throw it in your backpack or anything like that. You'll be just fine with that. So the portability here is pretty nice, even though these are some slightly larger headphones. The UE9000s come with a blue tangle free cable and of course this has an inline remote that works with all Apple devices. Play, pause, volume up, down, rewind, fast forward, all kinds of good stuff. But it doesn't work with Android. You can only use the play and pause feature. And that's pretty typical with almost all headphones. I haven't really encountered too many headphones that actually have all the other features as far as volume controls for Android, so that's okay. Now, of course, we're gonna take a look at the actual headphones themselves. I love Logitech's designs for these. The Ultimate Ear series has some really, really great looking headphones. The UE6000s were very impressive, and I'm also very impressed by the UE9000s. I think that they've got some really good quality, very durable. This feels like a very premium headphone. It feels very sturdy. It's got a bit of heft to it, so it's not the lightest pair of headphones around. It does have some heft. It has some pretty big ear cups, and it does have like a very sturdy headband, so you can't expect to have some heft to it. But it is high quality. It should be at $400, but it definitely is. And I'm not disappointed whatsoever by the quality of these headphones as far as the design, the durability, and the actual just feel of the, the, the headphones. I really like the design. One of my favorite parts is the little blue accents that it has around it. It's got a nice hint of blue inside the ear cups and around the ear cups. And also the actual ear cups themselves are like a sparkly blue and black. It looks black from afar, but if you take a close look in under some light, you'll see that it has like these little blue sparkles. You can't really notice it, but it's a nice touch. Definitely some good stuff. And certain pieces of it feels like it's um, aluminum. So it definitely has that overall nice feel and look to it. Another thing I like about this design is the really deep ear cups. They can let your ears go all the way inside. So it's an over ear experience. And one thing I really like about them is that it's got a nice soft cushion. So it's really, really comfortable. Although it might be a bit heavy, it's still very, very comfortable and very nice on the ears. Of course, we talked about the looks, the design, the hardware, but now how sound quality? The sound quality is great, I love it. There are two different kinds of sound quality here. While you're using Bluetooth and not using Bluetooth, these headphones don't need to have active noise canceling on. So when you don't have an active noise canceling, you get a more subdued sound quality from it. And I think some people tend to like this part because it's not bass heavy. It sounds just really crisp and clear. And I, I agree, this sounds a lot more calmed down. It's not that thumping sound that you um, get when listening to certain genres of music that you don't really want that. So it's definitely some good stuff here when the active noise canceling is off. And as you guys guessed, when the active noise canceling is on, you get this bass boost and you kind of just hear a lot more bass than normal. And I, as a bass head, love it, but I can understand if some people don't like that too much and prefer to go with the wired version of listening because it's more subdued. But I think this is great because it has the best of both worlds and that's amazing, that's perfect. And at the $400 price point, it's great that it can kind of work well for everyone, bass lover or not. So definitely some good stuff there as far as the sound quality goes. And these are Bluetooth headphones, guys. So when you're using Bluetooth, the active noise canceling has to be on. And of course, that means you're gonna get that stronger bass than normal. 
Um, in order to have the more subdued bass, you'll want to have it with the wires. But with the active noise canceling on, you will get that extra bass. Now, what's great about these headphones is even if the battery does die on you, you can just plug in the wire and keep listening with no problem. It'll just keep on playing like nothing happened. So that's really great. And if you want to have the active noise canceling on, you don't need to have the Bluetooth feature enabled. You can just plug in the wire and still turn on the active noise canceling. So you've got your options to mix it up there. The battery does last some good amount of time. I would say a couple of hours. I haven't really counted exactly, but I've been able to listen to them for hours on end and not really worry about it. Um, overall, I'm very happy with this. The only complaint that I would have about these headphones is that it might be a little big to some people. It is a bit heavy, so for those of you who prefer light headphones, these probably aren't the way to go. They are a bit on the heavier side. And the only other con I would say with these headphones is that they are not foldable, so they have to stay in this position, but they can get pretty flat by folding the ear cup sideways. So you can lay this down and you know take them somewhere, but it's not being foldable, that, that definitely is the only um, other thing that I don't like about these. And of course I have to show you guys what it looks like on. So here it is around the neck. So when you're not listening and you just want to hang it on your neck, here it is. Still a little big, so for some it might be big, good or bad, who knows. I think it's actually okay. And of course on the head, do you guys see it? Turn to the side. And there you go. So overall guys, these are some great headphones. I love them. These have definitely knocked out the Beats Wireless as my favorite Bluetooth headphones. But these are a bit more pricey. These are $400 compared to like the $300 that the wireless costs. These are pretty expensive, but if you are looking into these, you know the price already. You're not surprised that it's $400. You just want to know if it's good or not. Definitely, they are. They sound great, feel great, look great. So they definitely have a go in my book. I would highly recommend these to anyone who is interested in purchasing them. These, they're a total package in my opinion. So they definitely have my go. And um, that's about it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. If you did, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.